The first time Chloe and I came to Zawiyat Ahan Sal in the village of Tagia in Morocco's central High Atlas Mountains was in the fall of 2003. At that time, we were the first Americans to climb in the region, and there were only seven climbers in the village, including us. Returning each fall, we have become a part of the region's nomadic patterns. We have watched the people of Tagia adapt to what is now a virtual migration of several hundred climbers each year. The local people are balancing the profitable demands of hosting the climbers with their laborious responsibilities of life in a remote region. Saeed Masaudi's guest house, the original guest house for climbers in the region, was the first source of paper money for the village. The climbers pay the equivalent of $10 a day for two meals, a hot shower, and a mat to sleep on. Perhaps the most difficult of the village's new tasks is feeding their seasonal guests. This fall, Saeed and his family were responsible for feeding more than 40 climbers a day for more than eight consecutive weeks. Food preparation is extremely labor-intensive here and demanding of the entire family. Without refrigeration, the vegetables and meat must be harvested, butchered, and cleaned daily. Any supplemental food is purchased on Mondays at the weekly souk in Zawiyat Ahan Sal, a three-hour walk from Tagio, one way. Uh. While Saeed, his wife Fatima, and his family are preparing the evening meal, the climbers are still out on the valley's towering limestone walls, all of them working up an appetite for Fatima's tagine. Tajin is the name of a slow-cooked North African dish as well as the conical ceramic pot used to cook them in. The pot consists of a flat circular base and a large cone-shaped cover. The cover is designed to promote the return of all condensation to the bottom, resulting in tender meat and vegetables. <laughs> The traditional tagine of Morocco's central high atlas villages consists of spices, vegetables, fruit, and either mutton or chicken. It is traditionally served family style with five or six people sharing the same tagine and always eaten with bread. <laughs> Tajines are cooked over an open flame for hours before serving. Because of this, Saeed is resorted to feeding the climbers in two and sometimes three seatings. I'm so excited to eat tajine when I come back. Once all of the climbers are fed, which is often well after dark, Saeed and Fatima have a few hours to rest with his mother and their three daughters. They will awaken the following morning at 4.30 to feed the climbers breakfast and start preparing the next evening meal. But for now, they have a chance to enjoy a tagine together. <laughs> 